The Ohio State Buckeyes are the favorites to win the Big Ten in 2024, and they've got the second best odds to win the national championship. They better beat Michigan, or Ryan Day is going to be looking for work. Can the Buckeyes live up to expectations? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football picks. That's college football, NFL, and NFL preseason until the end of September for one low price, 249 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I do my homework over the summer, and the results have been great. We're 41 and 12, 77% with college football in August and September, the last two seasons. And when you throw in NFL and NFL preseason, we're still hitting 75%. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk deals page. But there's no obligation to purchase anything. You're more than welcome to tune in, absorb the free content. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these videos. Let's have a look at the free pick. Akron zips at Ohio State in week one. The Buckeyes are a 50 and a half point favorite. Total sits at 58 and a half. Ohio State uh, got themselves a new quarterback. Will Howard comes over from Kansas State. Should be an upgrade uh, from Kyle McCord. Howard threw for 2,643 yards and 24 touchdowns last year. He had nine rushing touchdowns. Uh, they also picked up one of the best running backs in the country. Judkins from Ole Miss, and Jim Knowles' defense already loaded with NFL talent, and they steal a corner from Alabama, Caleb Downs. This defense ranked uh, second in the country, allowing 11 po points per game in 2023. They're expected to be even better this season, and they're facing an Akron Zips team that was 2-10 last year, ranked 131st on offense. They only scored 16 points per game. Uh, their quarterback last year, Jeff Undercuffler, pretty ugly numbers, 1,378 yards, four touchdowns, nine picks. But the good news is they do have a new quarterback. Ben Finley comes over from Cal, and he was good enough to win the starting job at Cal last season. Of course, he lost it right away, but I don't think Jeff Undercuffler would have got a sniff of a starting job in the Pac-12. I think it's going to be an upgrade. I think they're going to be better on offense this season, better compared to 131st nationally in scoring. Might not be saying much, uh, and there's really not a lot of other positives to say about Akron. They're going to get trucked in this game. But what I'm looking at is when you look at the side and you look at the total in this game, the bookmakers are telling us they don't expect Akron to score at all. Uh, the implied odds for the team totals would be Ohio State 55.5 and, a half and uh, Akron 3.5 for the team total. And that would add up to the total of 59, half point away from the, the posted number. So I'm expecting Akron's team total to be sitting at 3.5. And, and we got to go over that just for fun. Uh, there's not a lot of value betting the uh, side in this game. Uh, maybe a little bit more value on the total if you're interested in that. But I think the, the most fun bet here is Akron over three and a half. Even with them tripping all over themselves, uh, it just takes one slip up, one fumble, one interception, one uh, broken tackle, and uh, three and a half points. I mean, th this is going to be exciting to, to uh, cheer this team total over. So that's the play. Akron, Zips, team total over three and a half. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.